Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name is Chris, and this is Free PBX 101, version 15, part 14, where we're going to be talking about soft phones. And soft phones are a really excellent and versatile way to get connectivity to your Free PBX system. Soft phones can be installed on a smartphone, Android or Apple. Soft phones can be installed on a tablet. They can be installed on the desktop of your computer for people working at home. They are a really excellent way to provide connectivity to the PBX super efficiently and, and get people up and running very, very quickly. In this video, we are going to cover two different types of soft phones. We're going to cover Clearly Anywhere, which is our preferred soft phone vendor for our clients. We are also going to show you how to set up a standalone soft phone. The one that I'm going to be using is called Zoiper. If you look through the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, you're going to find a ton of different SIP soft phones, including Zoiper. And a lot of those phones are set up almost exactly the same way that we're going to do in this video. And you might be saying, well, Chris, why are you showing multiple different types of soft phones? Just show us the, you know, the, the free and cheap soft phones so that we can get connected. Well, really because there's a difference in terms of a free soft phone as well as a paid or more enterprise grade soft phone. And the difference is that you get what you pay for. Right, so with free soft phones, imagine that you have 30 users that need soft phones installed on their devices. Number one, you're gonna have to figure out how to get those soft phones installed onto all of their devices, provide instructions, there's different devices, different makes and models and versions. Then you're gonna have to inform your users about, hey, this is your SIP server that you need to connect to and the port and the SIP username and the SIP password. And then what if there's employee turnover? You now have employees with SIP credentials on their phone that can connect into your PBX and make phone calls, right? So now you have to think about that and you know disable their credentials somehow, uh, usually through, you know, by just changing the password in the PBX or something. So, Free soft phones are great for test beds, for very small installations, but once you get above, you know, say 10 soft phones, I would say maybe even five soft phones, the IT administrative burden of administering free soft phones makes it not worth it, right? Because your time ends up being worth a lot in that case uh, as an IT administrator of these PBXs. So then you jump to something like Clearly Anywhere, where you have a number of distinct advantages. Number one, it's super easy for your users to set up on their devices. They just scan a QR code. They never know the SIP username and password. If you want to disable someone's extension, you just disable clearly anywhere off of their extension and they no longer have access to make calls from your PBX, you know, if they've gotten fired or if they quit the job or something like that. And on top of that, it's just super easy to see how many soft phone licenses you have, who's using those soft phone licenses, all of the statistics that you might want to know about those soft phones. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into soft phones. We're going to start with Clearly Anywhere, but first, if you guys are enjoying this tutorial series, make sure you give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for more videos just like this. We try to do two to three tech videos every single week. And if you're just interested in buying me a beer, there is a link down below to do that as well. Okay, so here we are at the desktop of Free PBX. We're going to install Clearly Anywhere. Now I have purchased two Clearly Anywhere soft phone licenses for this server. The soft phone licenses, by the way, are $15 per user per year. And you can buy Clearly Anywhere soft phone licenses right through the Crosstalk Solutions store at crosstalksolutions.com. All right, so we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna choose Clearly Anywhere. If you do not have the Clearly Anywhere module installed in your PBX, I will put a link down below for how to switch to the Clearly IP mirror repository as well as install the various Clearly IP modules, which I highly, highly recommend that you do. So the only thing that we see here is registration token, right? So what is that? Essentially what happens is when you buy licenses, uh, Clearly Anywhere licenses from Clearly IP or you buy them through Crosstalk Solutions, you get a registration token sent to you in email. And this is what that email looks like. Here we can see my registration token. I'm just gonna copy this. And then we're gonna paste it into the registration token field and click submit. 
Okay, so now we have the registration token in here. We can see that I have a total of two clients. The subscription is active, but it is not desktop capable. So that means that with the Clearly Anywhere license that I have, I can have Clearly Anywhere soft phones on mobile devices, but I do not have the desktop Clearly Anywhere soft phone license enabled. So Clearly Anywhere has licenses for both mobile devices as well as desktop devices. We see our PBX domain is testpbx.crosstalksip.com and then the API connection status says contact support. So that means it's not working yet, right? Well, there's usually two reasons why it might not be working. Number one, the port's not open, that's port 2267. And number two, we have not told Clearly Anywhere to use our Let's Encrypt certificate. Okay, so let's check both of those things. First, we're gonna go to the firewall. We're gonna say connectivity firewall. We're gonna pull out the side tray and we're gonna choose services. Then we're gonna click on custom services. And as we can see here, Clearly Anywhere on port 2267 has already been enabled because Clearly IP does that for us automatically. So that's good. The next thing we need to check is whether or not Clearly Anywhere is set to use our Let's Encrypt certificate. So we're gonna go settings, Clearly Anywhere, pull out the side tray, we're gonna click on Clearly Anywhere settings, and then right here, SSL certificate, we can see it's not using any certificate. So let's choose our Let's Encrypt certificate. We're also gonna choose HTTPS for the protocol. And then we are going to say, save settings. Okay, settings updated. And notice down here too, we have this nice email that goes out to Clearly Anywhere soft phone users. When you assign a Clearly Anywhere soft phone to your users, they get this email that shows them, hey, Here's the link to download, download for Android, here's the link to download for Apple, and then here's the provisioning link once you've downloaded the app. Now, we're not gonna do it this way. We're actually gonna use the QR code through the user control panel, which is so, so easy to do. Uh, but first, let's go back and make sure that our status looks good. So we're gonna go back to status. And here we go, API connection status is good. API port matches is good. We are absolutely set up and ready to rock and roll. Now, one thing I should mention, if this is the first time that you're setting up Clearly Anywhere for any particular location, any particular server, you're probably going to have to tell them the PBX domain as well as the connection URL. So the connection URL is HTTPS colon slash slash, then the WAN IP address of your PBX, on port 2267, and the PBX domain is just the fully qualified domain name or WAN IP address of your PBX. One final thing to note here, if you are using a corporate firewall in front of a premises-based free PBX system, you're also going to have to port forward port 2267 through to your PBX, and then of course let the free PBX firewall handle it from there. Okay, so we have Clearly Anywhere set up and ready to go, but if I scroll down, we can see that no users are currently using Clearly Anywhere. So let's pull out the side tray, and there is a shortcut to user management right here. Now, user management is not something that we have covered yet in this series, so we're kind of jumping ahead a little bit. I think it's video like 15 or 16, we're gonna talk about user management, and then we're also gonna get into the user control panel. So we're gonna touch on those a little bit right now, uh, but for a more in-depth look at both user management and the user base control panel, subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions and we will cover those topics in upcoming videos. Okay, so for now, I just want to assign one of my Clearly Anywhere licenses to extension 200 Michael Scott. So I'm gonna edit Michael Scott. I'm gonna click on the Clearly Anywhere tab and then for enable soft phone, I'm just gonna click enable. Now, it's set to inherit right now because it's inheriting from the all users group permission. Again, we will talk about users and group permissions in a future video. For now, I am just manually turning on the soft phone for this one particular user, and we're gonna click Submit. Once you've done that, click Apply Config. And now the next thing that we need to do is log into the user base control panel as user Michael Scott, and then we're gonna add the soft phone provisioning widget. The first thing we need to do before that though is we need to set a password for the user base control panel. Now the, 
The password for Michael Scott to log into their own user base control panel was already generated, but I didn't write it down at the time that it was generated. So I'm just going to create a password here. Of course, you want to make sure your password is strong and secure and something that your users will not forget. So I have a weak password in here. I would recommend doing one stronger than that, but for purposes of our demonstration, this is perfectly fine. Okay, so make sure you don't forget to click apply config or else the user base control panel won't pick up the new password we just created. Now we're gonna click on UCP for user control panel. And then we're gonna log in as username 200 or extension 200 with the password that I just created in the user manager module. And click log in. Now the first time that you log into the user base control panel, it's gonna try to go through this tour we don't want to do that because we will save that for the actual user control panel video. So I'm just going to click end tour and we don't have any dashboards right now. So we're going to add a dashboard. We're just going to call this default. This is the default dashboard. And you can see here that we have all these different widgets that we can add to the dashboard. The one that we want for soft phone provisioning is soft phone provisioning. So we're going to click this and then hit add. And now, as you can see, we just got a QR code, username 200, domain testpbx.crosstalksip.com. So now all we need to do is open up Clearly Anywhere on our, so on our smartphone and then scan that QR code. Okay, so I have Clearly Anywhere up on my phone. This is a defaulted version of Clearly Anywhere. It is not logged in as a user. I'm gonna click scan QR, and then we are just going to scan the QR code, it says please wait, and there we go. We have successfully logged in as extension 200 with our mobile device. Let's make sure we're connected by running the echo test, star 43 and send. You've got to enter an echo test. In this mode, everything you say will be re And there we go. So we have successfully connected to our Clearly Anywhere soft phone, it was just that easy. Once you get through the initial setup on the IT administrative side, for your users, all they have to do is scan a QR code and they're completely connected. Let's try dialing 202. There we go, you can see I'm dialing 202. Hello, hello, check, 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 and I have two-way audio. Okay, so now that we've seen how easy it is to connect to that phone, let's go back to the Clearly Anywhere module. And if we scroll down, we can now see that we have a Michael Scott extension. So if Michael Scott ever decided to leave the company, all we have to do is come in here, click delete on the Michael Scott user, and Michael Scott's permissions to connect into our server with Clearly Anywhere are completely revoked. All right, apologies, I just realized that my microphone had switched to this webcam that I'm currently testing from Anchor. And so the audio quality in that last sort of, you know, 15 minutes was probably not as good as you're used to, but I have now fixed that. We're using my good microphone that's sitting just off camera right here. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is manually set up a free soft phone. We're going to be using Zoiper for that. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by the good folks over at NextGenT. If you're looking to enhance your skills or start a career as a network engineer or cybersecurity specialist, look no further than NextGenT. NextGenT is an online IT school offering real world training on the latest technologies that's designed to launch your IT career in months rather than years. NextGenT also offers an ISA or income sharing agreement, meaning that you don't have to pay upfront for their training program. You pay back tuition for the school only when you're making over $40,000 per year in your new IT career. And NextGenT's career services team will mentor and work with you to help you land your dream job. Demand for network engineers and especially cybersecurity specialists is at an all time high, so there's no better time to get started with your IT career. I for one would have loved a program like this when I was just starting out, so make sure you click the link in the description of this video for more information about NextGenT's next level IT training programs. All right, now back to the video. Okay, thank you so much for that. As I said, we are now going to move into setting up a free Zoiper soft phone. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is launch Zoiper. Now, Zoiper is free to download and use. The version that I have here, however, is the paid version of Zoiper, which I think is like $49 one-time cost for this soft phone. 
But regardless if you're using the paid or the free version, the steps that I'm about to show you are exactly the same. So in order to get our extension set up, we want to choose settings. And by the way, if you've never set up Zoiper before, it'll actually go through a little wizard instead, but it's basically the exact same settings that I'm going to do here. There's three things that you need to know to connect any SIP enabled device to FreePBX. You need to know the IP address or FQDN of the server. You need to know your SIP username and your SIP password. So I'm going to click on accounts. And then we are now going to enter in the correct credentials. So for domain, we're going to say testpbx.crosstalksip.com. For the username, we will make this extension 203. And then for password, we need to get use extension 203's password. So we're going to go to applications extensions. Extension 203 is Pam Beasley. We're going to edit Pam. And we are going to copy the password and then paste it in into the password field. Then for auth username, we also want to do the same thing, extension 203. Now when you're setting this up initially, Zoiper might actually have you do something like 203 at IP address or FQDN. So if it asks you to do that, it's basically the same thing. It's username, at symbol, IP or FQDN of the server, and then separately you will put in the password. And again, any soft phone is going to have some variation of that, right? You're going to have to put in the username, password, and SIP server in order to get connected. All right, so we have all this information in here. We're going to click unregister, followed by register, and yes to save changes. And we have successfully registered to our PBX. Let's go ahead and close all of this out. And let's make a test call to say extension 200. Hello, hello, check, 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 check. All right, so it's feeding back there, but you get the point. That call did work just fine. Let's also run the echo test, star four, three. You are about to enter an echo test. In this mode, everything you All right, and so the echo test is working. We have successfully connected a free Zoiper soft phone to free PBX. I right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.